Okay, welcome to build video number seven. Uh, so what we'll need in today's video is one of the stepper motors. Really nice steppers, these two amp steppers. Okay. A coupler, five to eight millimeter coupler. And then start. Doesn't matter which one. Six and three six millimeter nuts. Two M3 16 millimeter nuts and two M3 nylock nuts. Okay, we'll also need the Z motor mount and we'll also need the main frame which I've got down on the floor which I'll lift up in a second. Now, to start with, we'll fit the motor. Now the orientation of the motor is as follows. The wires want to come out about this on the end stop side. And by end stop side I mean this rectangle here. So that's where the wires want to come out as you'll see. Now this might be a tight fit. If it is, just get a Stanley knife or a file and just sort of go around the inside edge. It's usually because of the first layer on a heated bed plate. Sometimes uh, we put down the first layer a little bit thicker. So just go with a Stanley knife or a little file just for a second or two, but it might, or it should just fit straight off the belt, but if it doesn't, don't worry. Like I said, just go around it. So that goes up on there like so. Okay, then we want four of the M3 six millimeter nuts. Screw one in, nice and simple, don't go too tight, then screw the other three in, once you have a good screwdriver you don't want to grind down nuts, uh, bolt, sorry, and screws, so two more. And freeze. And one more and free. Push that in. You should be able to see it lined up, which is what I was just looking for there. And then like I always do with my steppers, always tighten diagonals. And there you're good to go. Okay, so that's the motor mount. Next thing we need is the stepper. Stepper, I'm talking about, sorry. The end stop. Now you can disconnect the wire for now if you want, just to make connection easier. Um, but it doesn't bother me, so I'm going to leave it in situ. Now this sits on here, and as you'll see, it should fit nicely into the hole provided. You'll need two M3 6mm screws again. I'm going to say screws this time, so not. Get one going and then the other one should be fine. Okay, there we go. Then get the other one in. The other in front. There we go, that goes in there. Screw them down, don't go too tight. You don't want to damage the PCB, but you can go tight enough so there's no movement. You'll know it, because you know what's too tight and what's not. There we go. So as you can see, one end stop. Okay. So that's the end stop. 
and the stepper. Next we'll put the coupler on. Now you'll need, sorry, I don't think I said at the beginning, you'll need a little Allen key for the and remember you want the smaller hole over the motor and again you want one of the little black grub screws to go over the flat okay there we go so don't put it right to the bottom just a few millimeters up um, and you'll see in the top there's a big range for the eight but I usually have if you imagine half of the stepper shaft uh, sorry, sorry again, the stepper shaft goes into half of the coupling so if you can see there we roughly want to put it to about there maybe a little bit further so I reckon about there is about right then you tighten the grub screw up that's against the flat part of the motor turn it round tighten the other one up okay put a bit of pressure on one two we can always adjust this if we need to drop it slightly later two okay so step and motor done and stop done couple of done. Okay, so next what we're going to need now, clear a little bit of space, we need our frame back again. Here's one I made earlier. Okay, so pull these wires out the way. We'll pull them this way. Okay, and then our Z. Right around, just sort of them around. We'll sit there. As you can see, some of the motor actually sits inside the hole. Okay. So the next thing we have to do is make sure the wires are neat. Always make sure your wires are neat. Okay, so these are the M316, go through one side, into the other. Now you'll notice, hopefully you can see from this panel, that there is room to manoeuvre this side to side. And the reason that is, is so we can directly align the lead screw. So again for now, tighten. But don't over tighten. Okay, so we'll put one of the, he says as he drops it, one of the nylocks in place. So you might not be able to see this, but I'm just spinning nylock one on. Um, look, two on. Can be a little bit fiddly. Not sausage fingers like me. Okay, then do a lot. I recommend the start point to be around the middle. Now these nut traps should grab. And the nylocks locks are nice and tight as well. Keep it all in place. And just uh, not trapped in. And tighten up. Okay. Okay, so, and that's it. When that's in place, you then just tighten them up. Uh, don't go too tight, so you might have to adjust it, and there you have it. Build video number seven, done.